I figured I'd do a review on this while I got it out here. Um, you could see this big old uh, um, basil. This is, a, I believe, a cinnamon basil. You may have seen this in one of my earlier videos when I was showing you outside. I had it outside. I almost lost my plants from leaving it out there. You can see they got scorched from the sun. I mean, that sun is absolutely burning cooking outside. Holy smokes. Um, so I figured I'd get these in there uh, while they're still alive. <laughs> Hopefully we can see you know some progress uh, a little later on through the year. But this is... The Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Pepper. All right. Any of you hotheads out there know about the Butch Tea? Um, this is this one's a devastating one. I'm actually afraid to even uh, eat this thing in salads and stuff, or to you know, because I'm not going to eat it straight. I tell you that straight out. I'm not eating this thing pods. I'm not doing straight pods like with this. This this is the kind of a pepper you you actually eat this thing and you're gonna you're you could be in trouble. You know. Um, I don't recommend fooling around if you're not used to eating hot pods. I'm a regular guy. I'm not a hot pod guy. I love chili peppers, though. I am willing to try them, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to look like an idiot on camera eating a butch tea that I know would put me into a, a literally put me into a gut curl. I will be on the floor in extreme pain, um... The the the, uh, the the endorphin rush that you would get from something like that could actually put you in the shock. It's this isn't something you play with, guys. This isn't a joke. All right, this one is a very hot pepper. Um, from what I understand, this this one can be just as devastating as the Reaper. So I might take a little bite off the end of it. I'll have plenty of other things on hand to to um, cool it down. In case it gets really bad. I really don't know how hot this is. I've never eaten anything this hot before. But I might be willing to do it. I might do a sample beforehand. And uh, see if I, you know, if it's something I got to hit 911 for, you know. At least it's not on camera and I have to upload it. You know, me looking like an idiot. Burning myself to death on something I know I can't handle. But, um... Anyway, the, uh, the plants are only about three inches tall. You see I got wood chips in there, but that stem goes down about another inch and a half, two inches, about two inches of wood chips. So only about two or three, eh, maybe even a little bigger. It might be like, all the way down to the bottom, it might be like uh, four or five inches, something like that. Uh, it's very young. This is one that's going to have to be brought in. Uh, I will cut the basil down eventually. It's seeding right now, so I, I just want to get the seeds out of it for this year. Uh, so I can uh, store them, mark them, label them in the whole nine. And, uh, you know, that way I bring this in for the winter. Uh, I definitely want to grow the butch tea. Um, next year I'll be doing some of the other super hots like the bubble gums. And uh, is, there's a bunch of them that I didn't get that I will eventually get a hold of. I'm personally waiting for uh, Ed Curie to come out with his death pepper. That is definitely one that I want to try and, and give it a whirl, but I don't know. He hasn't released it yet. It's probably not a stable. It's probably not stable or he doesn't want to release it. So uh, I am really waiting for that really at this point. But yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll move on with the other stuff next year with different pepper reviews. So, um, But so far, this is the Butch Tea. Uh, you know, there's not much to say about it. It's got like a habanero type leaf. It's really too small for me to really elaborate too much on it. Uh, like I say, I just want to get the video series started on this plant. So as the updates come in, I could just have a file to attach it to and load it. and It just makes it easier for me, guys, you know. But you'll, you'll also get to see the progress as this plant grows. And you could keep track of the date of this video because it's going up today. Uh, today or tomorrow, roughly. And uh, the next update, you'll see how much the plant progressed between the first video and this one, and so on. I, I try to make it so it's successive, and you can see um, exactly what kind of growth you're going to get. So just hang in there, guys. This plant's getting bigger. I took it out of the sun. Hopefully, I didn't damage it too much from putting it out in the sun like that. But, it, I mean, it's not like I need to harden these plants. So it's just that sun is absolutely... It, literally burning everything in sight all most of the tomato plants on my deck are almost all dead so they're just been roasted right to death so um 
this almost became a casualty, so I immediately brought it in here and just stuffed it in a shady area, and it seems like it's okay, you know, you can see it looks all right. I mean, you can see some of the damage really, really got, it's, <laughs> wow. Then I forgot I put it out there, too, you know, I put it out, I'm like, oh, where's my butch tea? I, I never did a review, and I, I would go outside, and there it was, cooking in the sun, all the leaves were laying, pushed down, I was like, oh, that's the end of that. But anyway, we got it. I think we recovered it. It's going to be all right. It'll bounce back. Got to wait for the temperatures to cool, and this thing will start growing like mad. All right, so that's your uh, Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. See ya. Well, I don't know what to say about this one. Trinidad uh, Scorpion Butch Tea. It's the Butch Tea. All right, so here's the seed straight out the gate. All right, trade wind fruits. Gotta love trade with fruits. They carry good selection of seeds. You're gonna pay for these seeds no matter where you go, guys. All right, this is relatively a new pepper. You know, maybe after another two or three years, you'll see this one come down a dollar. You probably pick them up for a buck. But right now, it, they're, you're gonna be paying the prices that I'm paying for them, no matter where you go. So I paid four fifty for the butch tea. All right, you can see what they look like. They don't, they don't have the blistering on the. Uh, the outside, at least I don't physically see it in their picture, but uh, I have seen some of these other images where they do show it with blistering. So that's a that's a funny one for me, you know. But uh, yeah, 450 for those, and you're only getting 10 seeds, guys. It's pretty much two or three chances to give it a go. You don't get it by then, you got to start all over again, or the seeds are bad. Uh, I don't know why it's saying 500,000 on this, but it's whatever I scrubbed from the net. So I, I'll look for Scoville units from several different websites that put their, I guess, guess on their Scoville units. And I'll try to, you know, mishmash them and I'll come up with a low if possible. And then I come up with the higher end. You can see it's uh, 1.463 million. When you see that many numbers, above the million that usually means it was tested and that's probably what it was tested at so it's one and a half millions all right it's not quite as hot as a reaper but there's other aspects to hot peppers you gotta keep in mind it's not just the capsaicin you got to be concerned with there's other aspects to the pepper that can make it devastating there's other elements inside of it i can't get the name off the top of my tongue but if you do research on capsaicin and you start to look into it like you know professional grade pepper spray that they use for uh, you know for the police departments and stuff like that that's that's a chemical if I'm not mistaken that's not even that's like a synthetic capsaicin but if you go and you start doing some research on the capsaicin you'll slowly learn that there's other ailments or other elements uh, to capsaicin that make it what it is. Some of it got a hop, quick hop burn. Some of it affects and strikes the top of your tongue. Some of it affects and strikes the back of your throat. Some of them uh, cause uh, endorphin rush right away. There's different stuff inside of that. So you have to do research on that. I, I, I did all of that. I kind of forgot it already, you know. But I know that that is an important uh, aspect to these hot peppers. It's not just you know, Scoville units, you know, 1,460, no, it's more than that, there's stuff in there, so, you got to be careful with these peppers, this one I've heard that it's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a deficit, this one's, this one's like getting hit with a sledgehammer, I, I want to try the bubble gum next, that's, that one's going to be a really interesting one to review, because it's got some very, interesting features on the outside of the plant and the pepper itself so I, i'm gonna have to wait i'll do that next year but yeah here's the details it'll be in the description below it's a capsaicin chienzi you're only gonna get 10 seed for 450 guys gotta make this one work when you get it if you need the gabrielic acid break out the gabrielic acid break out the hydrogen peroxide start them off in paper towels but it's it, this could get quite expensive if you just start throwing them in dirt so, all right, so uh, there you go. Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea, tra Trade Wind Fruits.